Out there in the tropics, we have been tracking Hurricane Agatha. Remember, this is an eastern Pacific storm. The eastern Pacific names are different than the Atlantic names and Agatha was the first name on the list out here. Now, normally along the northern Gulf Coast, we wouldn't be concerned about this, and I won't say we're concerned about it, but we are watching it because of the movement. It's moving northeast at six miles an hour, going to be moving into Mexico, potentially as a major hurricane. I mean, it's uh, it's about to a category three. It's at a strong cat two at this point, and it's going to continue to move into Mexico as we go through today and then weakening as we go into later today and or later tonight and into tomorrow. The reason we're watching it has to do with the remnants of Agatha. And anything left over from Agatha, meaning some storms, some rain with it, will move into maybe the southwestern Gulf or even the Yucatan Peninsula or the northwest Caribbean here, and we'll have a low chance of development. Notice the National Hurricane Center highlighting about a 30% chance over the next two to five days. So that's what we're going to be watching as we go into about Wednesday to see what the remnants of Agatha want to do. Now we will say most of our guidance, meaning most of our models, whether you look at the GFS, the Euro or any of our ensemble models, they do generally bring whatever tries to redevelop and reorganize north and east. So if you're heading to Florida towards this weekend, especially the peninsula, Miami, Tampa, Fort Myers, Orlando, anywhere in those areas, I'd be watching the forecast closely because some models do bring uh, the chance for some heavier rain, tropical rains as we go into the weekend. So we do have much of this week to kind of keep an eye on it, but right now there's no immediate threat to our area from that. If it does reorganize and become a tropical system worthy of a name, it would actually get a new name, Alex, because it's in the Atlantic Basin. It reformed and um, it would get a list of what we use in the Atlantic. And once again, remember the Atlantic and the Pacific, they have a different list of names. So your seven day forecast, nothing to worry about in the tropics in the near term. We are watching Agatha. We're watching to see what it tries or if it does try to redevelop later towards the middle of the week, but we do have time to keep an eye on it. It's just a reminder that hurricane season starts in just a couple of days, but our forecast pretty warm near 90 degrees with a low chance 